up guys welcome back to another video of the baseball homies and we have someone guest starring today my dad ryan or shockey and today we're going to be doing uh top five t drills and we're going to show you uh what they're meant for and how do they improve your game so what would the first one be so the first one is going to be the high t drill right what we want to make sure of as we go through the high t drill is that we're staying on top of the baseball Right? So we're going to bring that ball to the top of the strike zone. And we're going to ensure that it's right at the letters where that would be a strike, not too high. But the idea of the high T drill is that we stay on top of the ball. We hit a line drive instead of getting underneath the baseball, dropping that backside and hitting a fly ball. Right? So we'll get into our stance. That ball is going to be right off of our front foot. Okay? It's a high strike. And we're going to come through and make sure we keep our hands on top of the baseball as we come through so that we're hitting a line drive instead of coming up from underneath and either hitting the tee or hitting a fly ball, right? So high tee drill right at the top of the strike zone, right into the net, line drive up the middle. Okay, so uh, what would the purpose be for that? The purpose is just to make sure that we're getting on top of the ball and that we're not bottoming the ball and getting up underneath it, hitting a lazy fly ball that's always an out. Okay. So what would the number two drill be? So number two drill, a lot of, a lot of younger players have a hard time getting around the ball on an inside pitch. Now, anytime that you hit the ball, if the ball's inside, right, we're going to want to hit out in front of the strike zone, right, out in front of the plate versus an outside pitch where we're going to want to hit the ball back here on a line drive to right field. On an inside pitch, we're going to look to take it to left field, but we're going to have to get our hands inside and around the baseball to come here and hit that line drive out to left field. That ball is going to have to be out in front. Now, you remember the high tee drill was off my front foot and it was up here. Now I want to hit the ball down here and way out in front. That way I can get around the ball on the outside of the baseball and get a good angle to left field, right? So inside pitch, right in the middle of the strike zone, about belt high, but I wanna hit the ball out here, out in front of my front foot, instead of back in the zone like I normally would. So on an inside pitch, I'm taking that to left field. Okay, so the number three drill will be? So the number three drill is gonna be that outside pitch, right? Just like we talked about on the inside pitch, where I want to hit the ball out front, right? I make contact with the ball out here. You notice where the ball is now on the outside part of the plate. So I'm middle out, right? But I want to hit the ball deeper in the zone. I want to let the ball travel. So on an outside pitch to take that to the opposite field, in my case as a right-handed hitter, that would be to right field. I want to hit the ball deeper in the zone. So you can see, instead of on my front foot or outside of my front foot in the front, I want to let the ball travel deeper in the zone and I'm gonna go ahead and take that ball to right field. So whereas inside pitch, I'm making contact out here, you can notice a big difference between out here and back here, where I wanna hit that, in, that outside pitch and drive it to right field, right? So I'm gonna let the ball travel a little bit more, split second, depending on how fast the pitcher's going, but that ball's gonna to come to the outside of the plate. I'm gonna let it travel back behind my front hip more towards my belt buckle or later, right? and I'm gonna let the ball travel deep in the zone so I can take it to right field. So when that pitch is coming in, remember as on a tee, always you wanna start off like you're looking at the pitcher, and as you load, you want your eyes to come down to the ball, just like you would on a normal pitch, right? A lot of people make the mistake of when they're hitting off a tee, they hit and their head's already right here. That's not where you start. Your natural starting position is looking at the pitcher. So you wanna stay here, let that ball travel, outside pitch, and I'm going to right field. Okay, so uh, on that one, you wouldn't get jammed on uh, outside pitches and trying to pull it, so you wouldn't ha have a dinky little ground ball or fly ball? That's right. Okay, so what is the next drill? So just like the high tee, the next drill we're going to do is the low tee. Now, again, here, just the opposite of the high tee, you don't want to top the ball and have a little ground ball that kind of dribbles out to the pitcher. Right, um, That low ball is also, we want to watch our bat angle. So I'm going to turn this way. When I'm looking at a low pitch, a lot of tendency is to come like this. And you see my bat's almost vertical with, uh, or perpendicular to the ground, right? 
if we have a really bad bat angle, the tendency is you're gonna hit a fly ball to the right side of the infield or you're gonna foul it off. But we wanna make sure that we still have a level swing on a low pitch that keeps us nice and level, easier to hit a line drive that way. So we don't wanna to top the ball and hit it into the ground, but we also don't wanna have a bad bat angle and bottom the ball on a low pitch, that golf swing that you see a lot of people drop their backside. We wanna stay level with our shoulders, level with our bat through the zone, even if it's down here, right? So we're now just inside our front foot, pitch right down the middle, right? Same thing here, good bat angle, line drive straight to the center field. Okay, so now the final drill, what would this one be called? So normally I would have two T's, but I don't have two T's here today. But I'm gonna put my bucket here just to simulate. This is a drill to keep my bat in the hitting zone in the plane of the pitch for as long as I possibly can. A lot of young players, when they're going uh, through their steps in, in the first you know, two, three, four years of them hitting, they do what I call touch and go, right? So they'll come here, they'll have a good stance, but they'll come from here. The plane of the pitch is coming right here this way, right? So imagine that, that line, that plane coming down. And they're taking the barrel of their bat and they're touching the plane and then pulling off that plane, which means I'm only in the hitting zone for this much, right? Right here, where I touch that plane, where the barrel touches the plane, and then I pull off, it's a U-shape, boom, boom. But that only gives us a very narrow margin of error. So if we have to hit the ball right here, instead of having the bat come through the zone and giving us a lot more of that plane where the barrel can make contact, we're only giving it one barrel length, right? So really good hitters can get away with this, but not for very long. You wanna keep the barrel of the bat on the plane of the pitch for as long as you possibly can to give yourself the best chance to make contact. So normally what I would do is hold a tee here and a slightly lower tee here. And I wanna hit both balls as I come through because, <laughs> because I would make contact with the first along the plane, then I would come through, make contact with the second along the plane, and then finish my swing. So if you have two tees, you're able to do that. But if you put a bucket here, it'll simulate that second tee to make sure that I'm coming from my stance, my hands are coming to the ball, staying in the zone. I get contact with the zone here, um, contact, 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 until I absolutely have to pull off the plane of the pitch, right? So imagine a second tee here at a slightly lower angle because as a pitcher's mound comes through, that angle is gonna come down, right? Slightly lower tee here, and I just ensure that my bat stays in the plane of the pitch as long as possible. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, or you'll hurt Carl's feelings. Peace.